Hello, crafty friends. This is the Paper Chef here. Welcome to my celebration walkthrough. In this video, I'll be walking through the July 1st to August 31st offerings. These are items you can earn free at our my Stampin' Up! store. And I'm going to be giving you U.S. prices. But before that, I'd like to say happy 4th of July. It is our Independence Day here in the U.S. and we are celebrating with barbecues, beaches, and all kinds of fun stuff. Family time. And it's a great day to celebrate our independence. So, hope you all have a wonderful 4th of July. So, let's do this now. I'm going to be able to open this up. I have examples of the free things that I earned. I will explain about this one here and something special about that one and how you can use it with other stamp sets. And let's just go ahead and get started. So, and also... I'm going to, at the end of this, okay, just kind of give you a sneak peek at the end of this video, stick around, because I'll tell you about when you join Stampin' Up, instead of earning these items, you can join as a demonstrator, get a discount, and get this free Making Plans collection. And I have a sample of that. I didn't really put it together yet, like I planned, but I do have a Making Plans collection. Sort of, I can show you, you know, that. All right, now let's, Oh, and say hi as you come in and all that. I already see that, like, Gloria is here saying happy 4th of July. Chris from Iowa and Kathy. So I'll probably be saying hi as you go, as you come in, because that way I don't, I don't lose the comments like I do sometimes. And Cheryl from Kentucky. All right, so here we go. These items, you know, when, I, when they're, there's the expression, there's some things that money can't buy. So what I'm showing you are things that money can't buy. I mean, you, can, you can't actually come out and just purchase these items. So, for example, like you can't just purchase this. It's not for sale. You have, to, you have to spend money on something else, and then you get this for free. So I hope that makes sense. So you can't buy this. Everything I'm showing you, not everything I'm showing you. I'll show you the ones you can buy, but the basic ones you can't buy. So we, it's like it's saying celebration. We're having this two times a year now. We had it for a couple months back in January and February, and now we're having it in July and August for the entire months of July and August. Things are while supplies last, especially the Making Plans Planner Kit. So I hope I get a chance to do a video before they run out of this really popular planning kit. A video, separate video. Okay, we're just going to keep on moving along. So the first thing that is featured in the celebration brochure is called the Hippest Hippos. And for 50, when you spend $50, you'll get the Hippest Hippos for free, the stamp set. It's a cling stamp set, so it's rubber, it's really good, really good quality. Here are some super cute examples made with it. I have a couple examples of how I completely colored it a completely different way, how I did something completely different. And for 50 more dollars, so if you spend $100, you can also get the dies. The dies are gonna cut out not just the stamped images. So you, you could just think of these three as just your stamped image dies. This is so much more. I've seen so many things done with them for summer cards. Like, I mean, look at the little mask and snorkel. And how many little cute animals can you put that on? Maybe you could put the mask and snorkel on the pig. Maybe you could put sunglasses on something else. These dyes are just wonderful. You got a little bucket to take, the hippo can take a bath. You can color them with different color schemes, etc. All right, so let me show you the Hippest Hippo stamp set. Actually, it's, it's being washed because I just did some more samples, but I can show you a couple stamps here. Let's show you. Yeah, I mean, my little sentiments are being washed, so I'm not going to do that kind of stamping, but I will color something for you just to show you. So this is the one I've been using for my cards, my examples, because, I mean, who doesn't love a dancing hippo in a ballet outfit and, and the cute sentiments to go with it. So I'll show you my examples and then we'll color one. Okay, so this is coming up soon, these cards and envelopes, which you can earn for free. So I just wanted to do a whole celebration little sample. And you may have noticed when I did the unboxing, I colored this hippo. I went, I had these colors out because I was doing what's called the Splendid Day. Uh, I was doing some kind of online event. So I had these little markers out and I started coloring it with this soft sea foam and a fresh freesia, right? And a little pool party in the eyes. So that's why I did this one, and then I did a little bit of sponging. And I, this is, so this is vellum. These are the free cards and envelopes, which I'll show you in a minute. These are stickers from one of my little scrapbooking kits. We just had a special on kits last month. So this is like the memory scrapbook kit. So I just use stickers, stuck the stickers right onto the vellum. Simple, simple cards. So I'm gonna be making a ton of these. I have my bucket of crafty goodness ready. I've been coloring hippos. I have another trick I want to show you. I have a lot planned, but I've been very busy with family stuff, which is awesome. I have a really cool stamparatus trick I could show you where you can just cut out loads of these dies and then stamp your hippos later. Super simple. So I've been coloring these 
like loads and loads of these I've been coloring. And let me get, I have one back here to just, that's plain, that I just want to show you. We'll color it with a different color scheme. And here's some like little, little mass snorkels. I've been, I've been cutting out the parts, but not as much. Mostly I've just been coloring. All right, so hippo, hippo. Let's get this here. We're going to do a different color scheme. This is the one I want to show you, this color scheme. So you can, you can, you can color it with, I mean, the hippos, anything goes, right? You got your soft sea foam, your fresh freesia, or you can go for ink colors and use, use then your basic gray. I mean, you know, your, is it not gray? Smoky slate. Nope, gray. I'm sorry, not smoky slate. I just messed up twice. It's called gray granite. It's a pinky gray, gray granite. We'll use a little bit of this, uh, these Tahitian Tide, because they're in colors. And we can use these, so we can make an in color hippo. Then if you make your in color hippo, whether you use fresh freesia or whatever you want to use with the little tutu, you then can use all your in colors and you can make an in color hippo card. You can use your T Boutique Designer Series paper, your in color designer series paper, or any of the in colors. And that's what I did. I used Tahitian Tide and I did this card here. So let's show you how I colored the hippo. Very, very easy. We're gonna start with the gray granite dark. When I do the hippo, I do the dark first. So look at the side. And for this one, I just wanna get, you wanna use, I'm gonna use the big brush side because these are big wide areas. So I'm gonna use the dark and I'm gonna go around the hippo snout like this. Okay, just in a big circle. Now, when you use the light next, you want to blend those colors together before they dry. So you take the brush side and you can make these circular motions and sort of blend. It blends the two layers together. Now at first you're like, well that's kind of harsh, right? That doesn't, that doesn't look very pleasant. But it turns into this and look how cool that looks just a couple minutes later. But it doesn't just turn into that. You have to do a little bit more blending to get it to turn into that. So you're going to go like this. You're going to kind of pull with the light one, kind of pull the colors in. So you don't have that harsh line around the side. So I'm just pulling the colors in, pull, pull, pull. And then I just kind of do my little circular motion again around the middle. And that'll dry and it'll look nice, nicer. Now we're gonna take the dark one, the dark gray granite. And I just, instead of kind of blending the arms, it wasn't a big enough area for me to mess with. So I just went ahead and took the dark gray granite and with my fine tip, because they each have a fine tip, and a larger tip. Just went in there and, you know, just get in there and sort of color it straight away without blending, without blending the sections. Okay? And then I took the light one, just because I'm trying to separate the, the body, the body parts here. And I just went and I just took the brush side. I'm leaving the eyes open because I'm going to use another color for the eyes. And I'm just getting in there and making the headlight probably should turn to the finer side, but I think I can get in there and get that. All right, the hippo is coming alive. We need a couple more things. I've, let's see what I did. I used the dark right here on the body. So the dark, and I'm using gray granite again, if you missed me saying I'm using gray granite. So you see I'm using the dark right here for the body. And then I'm using, the rest is the tutu in the dress. Well, it doesn't have to be, but I made the tummy the tummy could have been a gray, but I just made the tummy. Because, you know, you could do whatever you want, right? And I did whatever I wanted. I made it Tahitian Tide to match my card. So I, like, made it part of her outfit, but it really could be part of the belly. And then the hippo could just be wearing a tutu with no shirt. All right. So now let me see where we're at. New subscriber from Toronto. Thank you for subscribing, Barbara Kasuba from Canada. Toronto, Canada. Awesome. Dolores, hello Dolores from Maine. Yeah, Barbara was saying she has the otters from the last, like, okay, the otters, like we always have something cute during celebration. So you remember the otters? That was from the celebration. So we always have something cute from celebration. Hello Lala's Crafts. Diana and happy, Diana B, happy fourth. Kathy saying the, the um, these hippos are so awesome and fun. No, Barbara, the otters are not available because you can only get these this hippos while supplies last are from July 1st till August 31st. The things that are going to run out first are not the stamp sets probably because we make stamps as far as I understand and here in the U.S. By the way, I'm getting the dark Tahitian Tide next. But the things that run out first are the dyes because we make those or we get those made, I believe, in China or somewhere. 
So like, we run out of dyes first because it would be, if we ordered more after they run out, then they would never get here by the end of celebration. So they don't restock celebration items. So you see how I'm doing that? I'm just doing a little bit of dark around the edges. And then down here for this little body part down here. Or not body part, the little dress part. So that's the dark part. Then I'm going to take the light Tahitian Tide. So the other things that might run out of these like cards and envelopes possibly, and maybe this foiled paper, the specialty paper that I'm going to show you in a little bit. But the regular paper I believe we make in the US too. So I think the stamp sets won't run out. But anyway, if you like something, free stuff, get it now. I stock up on the, these items and I offer them as my host prizes and stuff for months to come. I just finally got rid of the last friendly hello stamp set. Um, and I don't want to say got rid of in a bad way, but I mean gave it away. Because I stock up on all my free stuff and then I save it for prizes. Because I know that after the time's over, then you guys are like, I didn't get my prizes or I didn't get the free stuff. And sometimes a new customer comes along. Oops, I better use the small side. I'm using the small side right now. A new customer comes along and is like, I didn't get the free stuff. And I say, well, you can be entered into my drawings when you use. So in the description of this video, you'll see a host, a current host code to be entered into my drawings. And I'm a little behind on doing the prizes, but I never forget. Because my Facebook page allows me to see all my videos and I know which ones, which prize drawings I've done before. So I will give out prizes. So I'm using the small side. That was dark, by the way, bottom of the tutu. I'm using Parakeet Party, the color Parakeet Party. That's the top of the tutu. It'll blend better in a minute. You'll see, you can even see that one starting to blend. Look how cool that's looking, right? It, this one's better because it dries and it blends better as it dries. Okay, we need the pool party. This is a color that I just use for eyes and different animals and things. So we're using pool party, coloring the, the eyes in pool party. And then the fingernails, I, last time I used Parakeet Party, but this time I'll just use Pool Party for the fingernails. Or are they hooves? Whatever they are, maybe hooves. And then let's take the dark Parakeet Party. And we'll just color this. All right, so there you go. And that wasn't the best die cutting job I did. The scan and cut would do a way better job than my die in that case, but... This one is, I did use the dies, and this was me practicing with my Stamparatus. When I was practicing uh, my new Stamparatus trick that I'm going to show you. Kind of a new trick. And it's, it's, an, it's a variation of my old trick. But it, how cute is that? So then you put it with your, you know, T Boutique Designer Series paper, etc., etc. All right, we're going to keep on walking through. I'm going to keep on saying hello. I hope you enjoyed the coloring of the hippos. Yes, Dolores says she already has the hippos and dies on the way to her. Awesome. All right, so we're moving along, and this is the paper called, well, it coordinates with the Ring with Nature Bundle. It is called, here we go, the free paper is called Rings of Love. I have a brand new pack to open for you because my other pack is all cut up. And if you want to know the product numbers for these, it'll be asking you during checkout to pick from the list of free items. But here are product numbers, but you can also download the celebration brochure in the description of this video. I don't have this Rings of Love one, but uh, this dies, but this coordinates you, with the stamp set and the dies. And this, there's, there's a Rings of Love bundle this coordinates, or Rings of, sorry, it's a Ringed with Nature bundle that this coordinates with. All right, so this is great fall paper. Where do you see this paper? Super awesome. You're going to love this paper. So it's free with a $50 purchase. And then the $50 purchase could be you getting the stuff that coordinates with it. So if you really need some fall, some fall paper and stamps and everything, and just some gratitude stuff here. Let's see what it says. I don't have the other catalog right here because we're walking through. Well, the mini catalog separately here. Just for you. Love and warmth. Thinking of you. Happy anniversary. I mean, look at all these cool sentiments. Just for you. Merry Christmas. If you want something that's good for fall and for the holidays. See, look at that. You can get the ring with love. And then by getting a ring with nature. Then by getting that. Here, it's $53, right? This bundle of dyes. Uh, I believe it's an embossing folder too. Embossing folder, it's a hybrid embossing folder, one that does embossing and cutting dies, pretty sure. And then um, you would get this paper for free when you spend $50. All right, so the coordinating colors, let me turn this around. And I know I have some weird lighting, but I've been away and then my whole system is not quite set up yet. Okay, crushed carry. There you go, that's crushed carry. Evening evergreen. 
Yeah, she's saying, Kathy's saying this paper is so great in person, the catalog does not do it justice. Yeah, I mean, what's this? What's that? Nothing. You can't even see nothing. All right, I'm showing you. That's why I'm showing it here. Let me turn this over so you can see both, both papers here. And I'm going to put the, this one's cuter. So I'm going to show you this so you can see all the coordinating colors. All right, so I said crushed curry, evening evergreen, mint macaron, night of navy, parakeet party. There's your parakeet party, this little green part. We just colored with petal pink, poppy parade. That's that really nice red and soft suede. So look at all those gorgeous fall colors. And the other side looks like our gingham, our new gingham paper. It's fantastic. I'm using this in my autumn or my fall projects course because I'm doing a course with the scan and cut. And I'm using this paper. That's why I got so much texture to create my projects because I love it. Well, it's one of the papers I'm using. It's a watercolor fall look with the little acorns. The other side is pretty too. And I'll be definitely stocking up on this. Look at the little winter birds with the cute branches. And on the other side, fantastic for snowman, uh, snow scenes, winter scenes, snowflakes, all that watercolor, all that watercolor wash. Okay, so we said, let me see what blue that was again. It looks like a, an oozing of the night of navy. Yeah, so you get, even when it says night of navy, then there's like different ways that it uses that. This is my favorite piece of the stack. These little houses, they're just amazing. I mean, you can just do so much with these, with your winter scenes, fall scenes. Yes, the leaves and acorns are gonna be great with the squirrel stamp set that came back again, nuts about you. It didn't come back, it never, it was one of those carryover items. Nuts about squirrels it is. And we, we did some a lot about nuts about squirrels. It, they cut out great with the scan and cut. Look at this awesome medallion. I mean, imagine this as a little, background embellishment, put something in the inside of it, like a sentiment across with the, oh, gorgeous. In fact, I hate when they put such great pieces of paper together on both sides. So like, this is cool. Okay, you're like, I can handle this side being on top back of the cute little birds, right? But when you see this, the best paper on the back of each other, you're like, why didn't you put something plain on the back so you don't have to have such a hard time deciding what side of the paper to use? And then we got the little mushrooms that are going to go great with the kindest gnomes bundle in that mini holiday catalog so a lot of these products i'm showing you do coordinate and here's the rings the ones that are going to go great with the rings of nature or the tree the tree rings no it's it's like a lot of the stuff i'm showing you celebration is going to go great with our mini catalog which i'll be walking through at a different time because i have to keep my videos focused right this this catalog here has a lot of coordinating products with the catalog so when i say kindest gnomes there's a gnome set in here that will go great with these mushrooms, right? So that's what I'm talking about. There's so much coordination. And then you got these Christmas, these look like, you know, poinsettias. And then the trees. My cousin loves these trees, so I need to make her something of this because she really helped me a lot recently. And she's like, I love all these trees. So there you go. That's the ring, that's the free Rings of Love designer series paper. And we will move on to, oh, look how they use the medallion. I like how they use the medallion. It looks like a frame, almost like a 3D frame. Hello, Carol from Texas. All right, here's what I wanted to show you, these cards. These are called Par Pool Party and Soft Seafoam Cards and Envelopes. Again, and free with a $50 purchase. This is showing you how this coordinates with something called the Splendid Day Suite. Excuse me. So this is Spl Splendid Day Suite. So because it's coordinating because the colors are similar. So when you, I open these up already in boxing, unboxing, you get 10 of the pool party cards and then this paper looks a lot like the Splendid Day paper, design Series paper. So what I did is, so I got out my pool party, I got out my soft sea foam, and that's when I started coloring, you know, my, my little hippos when I, I did this live, I colored my first hippo live, just to see how it would look with this. These are the envelopes, you get 20 of these envelopes, you get, so you get 10 soft seafoam cards. Look at the little pattern inside the soft seafoam. Okay, so you get 20 cards for free with 20 envelopes. These are all the same, the envelopes are the same, but look, you can do stuff with this. I'm thinking, I'm not sure yet, but I'm, I'm thinking possibly of using these for like a swap I'm doing because I thought that would be ne like neat to use for like the use the designer series paper from this as part of celebration. I'm just thinking of it, but I'm not really sure yet. The idea is just in my head, it hasn't come to fruition. Okay, let's grab that 
card I made earlier just to kind of re re return you back to this sample. So there's what you can do with your cards and envelopes. In addition, I used some vellum from the layering vellum from the annual catalog. The layering vellum, let me see if I can reach it. Okay, looks like this. Let me put my microphone back on. So the layering vellum looks like it's like pieces like this. And in there, this would be cute too. You get a lot of plain ones, but you get 20 with designs on them. And I just found this, I thought that this, here, it comes in a little tiny pack like this. Okay, so lovely layers vellum, sorry. Lovely layers vellum, not the other thing I said before. So they, these are, and you can color the vellum, and you can use it for like little like layers like that. Okay, so that's what that card is. And then, and furthermore, I took the stickers from the kit, that kit that was making memories or whatever, scrapbooking kit. I started inking, I stamped them all with the hippo things, always on point. I did some blending, petal pink, pool party, petal pink, pool party. And then I had my little sentiments all ready to go. Look how quick I made this card. I made it in like two minutes because I had my hippos already colored from my bucket of crafty goodness because I've been coloring hippos. I do that in my free time. I just color my hippos in parts. Like I might do the tutu, then I color the body. So I have a bunch of hippos colored. I threw the sentiments together. I have a bunch die cut. I did, I did a super quick stamparatus stamping. Okay, so that's kind of how, how you can use these to make quick cards. And you can also use the designer series paper if you don't want to use those envelopes. I'm not sure how I'm going to use them yet. All right, here's another one. I don't have this one. It's called Stylish Sketches. It's really cool for coloring, but it's just not my thing. You know, but it, I'm sure it's going to be popular. It has, it says four stamps. I don't see what the fourth is. Let me, oh, it's this little blob. That's kind of cool. It's a little splash. That one's going to be nice for fall. Get your like acorns and leaves and some, I guess, what are they? Ducks? Geese? And then, um, little, what is that, a little fox? So it's pretty. Let me see if you can see that in the light. But I didn't get it. I don't plan on getting it, and maybe I'll get it as a prize because some will like it, as, offer it as a prize. Okay, so this is next. Now, the last, this is what I wanted to mention about. Oh, I'll mention that in a minute. Okay, this one here, this is the last item that you get when you spend $50. The last of the free $50 items. So you're able to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Six. Or is there more? Yeah. All the rest, these now are $100 items. Okay. So those were the ones you get when you spend $50. I'm going to show you another type of designer series paper. And it is called, and then we'll get to this once you can earn when you get $100. This paper is called Silver and Gold Designer Series Paper. You get 12 sheet, or 24 sheets. They're 6 by 6 and they're foiled. They're not double-sided. These are single-sided, unlike most of our paper. Those of you that sign up for my Designer Series Paper Share, it's in my newsletter. If you don't get my newsletter, re request my newsletter by going to the contact form in the description of this video. Or actually, just sign up on the newsletter at the front page of my website, paperchef.stampinup.net, and you'll see my newsletter. Or you'll see, you'll see a sign-up for my newsletter. Anyway, this paper is really cool. You can color it in things. It's like silver, silver dots, silver lines, or gold dots and gold lines. Single-sided, but this is what the paper looks like, a pack of 24. This is going to be in my celebration sampler as part of the designer series paper share. So I had to spend a lot of money to get that for you. I made the sacrifice, guys. And to get this paper to put in the Designer Series Paper Share. And no extra charge. I just, I'm giving it to you inside of like a little sampler. So you'll get like a, I think, one sheet of each of this. Okay, so that's, isn't that cool? And the other side, like I said, is plain. So this is going to be a really hot item. Why? Because anytime you have foiled paper, it's going to be a hot item. I love 6 by 6 and also because we can color it and therefore it'll match anything and coordinate with anything from our catalog. So I, that's why I think this is going to be a super hot item. Hello, Leslie from Wisconsin. Now ready to do the $100 items. Now, last time when I did the unboxing of the celebration catalog, I accidentally said that this was a $50 item because I didn't have this guide, I didn't have this this book to guide me. I wasn't allowed to open it until July 1st. 
I'm not even allowed to open it on camera, so I kind of mistake. I thought this was a $50, but this is not. This woohoo, whatever, amazing, and all these cool phrases, it's a $100 item. But when you see it, the, the, the stamp set, you're going to understand why. It's pretty cool. It's called Amazing Phrasing, and it has so many things on it. So many things, right? So we have Carol from Texas. Now we have June from Baton Rouge. All right, let me show you this. It's a... Um, Look at this. It's it's like bigger than, here, what am I trying to say? It's not bigger. It's just there's more in here than you than you would think. So there's just two sheets of stamps, and then you put them back like that. They do stain. These are called photopolymer stamps. Let me see if this is the, the size. That's what I wanted to try to say. I think it's the size. Yeah. They're bigger than they look. These stamps are bigger than they are on the package. Okay? because there's two sheets of them. I haven't used them all yet. I just did the woohoo, a couple things because I want to show you how this coordinates with something else. All right, so photopolymer, once you're done using them, you, you, st you store them inside the stamp set. This is gonna be super popular and I will be trying to stock up on these to give these out as prizes uh, during you know the month to come. But you do wanna get it if you like it. You get it now. All right, here we go. Here's how I used it with another stamp set. So the woohoo, to another year around the sun makes a fun birthday card. I use stickers and the happy face from the scrapbooking kit. I used a lot of ink colors. I used Crush Carry with a lot of ink colors for these cards. And just wanted to show you how you can use this woohoo, you know, to another year around the sun as a birthday card. So now that this is a free stamp set. This this one, Amazing Phrases, is free. But the what I used it with is not. So I'll just kind of show you what I used it with. This one here is from the annual catalog. So you can tell something's free when it says celebration, right? It says it on there. That means you can't buy it. But you can buy Rays of Light, and it'll help you earn these free items. Rays of Light is a really awesome cling stamp set with the vintage look, and I used it with the Stamparatus, and I've done videos on this, but I'm going to go ahead and flip through my other cards just to show you this Rays of Light because it's, co it's all related, okay? So shine on, shine on, shine on was part of the, the woohoo is the free one, but this one was part of that scrapbooking kit. So were all the stickers. I've made more since my Stamparatus video. Here's another woohoo to another year around the sun makes a fun birthday card with some stickers from the scrapbooking kit. You can either put the sun up on a little die, the little happy face, I mean, for the sun, or you can just put the happy face on a die or just stick it right in the middle of the sun rays, that happy face. I came up with that later after my video, and I didn't get to show you during my Stamparatus video. So I just think that's so fun the way it comes together. So again, Rays of Sun, Rays of Light, you purchased that from the annual catalog. There's a kit on our website. I don't believe it's not in the catalog. It's a kit called Making Memories Mini Scrapbook Kit or something like that. That's where I got the happy face and the stickers. And then we use, I used these little, these little um, floral, floral, uh, embellishments from the annual catalog. So amazing phrases. And then here's a couple I have go in the works because you can see I'm using, like I'm doing stuff with ink colors and lots of layering going on. See how I have like the different ink colors here and you can see what I'm working on. You just make a bunch of these and then it's going to be easy to turn these into birthday cards or, you know, cards I give as samples. So it's just so great to use your Stamparatus to make backgrounds. Look at all these I have ready to go and even ones that are plain. And then I did some, um, here, I did some with some slim sayings that were retiring. Um, here's a little, a little happy, happy sun. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet. Maybe it could be a thank you card. These could be thank you cards, you're one of a kind. So these could be thank you cards too. Sending sunshine and good feelings your way. This is from the good feelings stamp set in the annual catalog. Slim sayings, this is a retired stamp set. You are my sunshine. Uh, that was called Ridiculously Awesome. This is called Good Feelings, uh, Slim Sayings. Yeah, Good Feelings. So you get, so you can see how it's all related. Got it. All right, done. That was the woohoo. That's all I've done so far with the amazing phrases. Put these off to the side. Free when you spend $100. Let me just, and if you get sick of me saying that, it's because the soon as I'm done the video, people are going to say, why can't I buy it? I tried to look it up and buy it, and how much is it? Like, as soon as I'm done the video, I'm like, you can't buy it. You got you to gotta earn it. 
Okay, so now, and by the way, if you want to go to my st store, just click on the description of this video. But if you're watching the video uh, up on your TV and it's hard to get to the description of the video, because it's easier to get to on a computer, then just type in Papered Chef, not Pampered, Papered, P-A-P-E-R-E-D, chef.stampinup.net. And you will find, or you could search for me. I'm in Georgia, Kimberly Smith, U.S. Demonstrator, State of Georgia. All right. A tree lot dies. I don't have this yet, but I saw someone recently turn these dies into 3D little camping RV trailers, which was adorable. I love this. I just didn't get it because I'm focusing on trying to get the paper I need for my shares and stuff. But I do love this, and I think I do want to maybe eventually get it, possibly, because this it's so cute. Trees for Sale stamp set it coordinates with in the mini catalog. And look what you can do when you use the Trees for Sale stamp set from the mini catalog. See how that coordinates really well with the little camper? And these dies are free when you spend $100. So it reminds me of something, I think it was called Happy Camper that we had a couple years ago. And we didn't have dies for the Happy Camper. I already gave that away, I think, to my sister. Um, she loved it and I, get, I think I I'm, or someone I maybe gave it as a prize to someone but I don't know if that RV fits on that retired stamp set I don't know but that one didn't have dies and we were using the scan and cut to cut it out so tree lot dies free when you spend a hundred dollars again here are your samples that's an embossed sample okay and now I'm going to show you the free wonderful world stamp set and designer series paper I wish there was a way to just keep getting extra paper and not get the stamp set each time, but I'm going to be giving away the stamp set as prizes along with a 12 little uh, cut up, or not 12, 6, whatever, a little tiny sampler of the paper when they get the stamp set as a prize. But I am more interested in the paper. I didn't use my stamp set, but you're going to love it and you're going to love this combination. So when you spend $100 at my Stampin' Up! store here, so you, on anything, say you get whatever, whatever you get, cardstock, uh, ink, whatever you happen to be getting. And you then go to checkout and it says you want to claim rewards. If you claim this reward, this one number, 159918, you're going to get both this stamp set and 12, a pack of 12, 12 by 12 designer series paper sheets. Gorgeous flowers, wonderful world. It is a cling stamp set. Okay, all etched. You can use it on anything with any papers for years to come. There's no sentiments on it though. So you need to use sentiments from something else with this paper. So first let me show you the paper. Then I'm gonna show you my samples. Let me get rid of some stuff here. Here's the paper. Now recently, let me pick up, let me pick up my um, things there. Okay, Leslie's saying she just ordered this, can't wait. Cheryl's saying hello from Illinois. Jean's saying hello from Ohio. Okay. Recently on my Scan and Cut, and I hope I said hello, Melissa, from San Antonio. Dolores says hippos are on the way. Dolores from Maine is saying hippos are on the way. Awesome. All right. This, I did a recent, a recent video on my YouTube channel called Cutting Pattern Paper with the Scan and Cut. So that's what I'm going to be showing you the results of. Cutting Pattern Paper with the Scan and Cut. This paper cuts out so beautifully. So these are the patterns. You get two of each sheet. They're double-sided, 12 by 12 designs. I lost the thing, so we'll see if I can find the coordinating colors. I mean, I lost the packaging for it. The coordinating colors are Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, uh, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Orchid Oasis, Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, and starry sky. That is a lot of coordinating colors. That means there's a lot you can do with this paper and you'll get to see how I use these as, for my cards. Thank you Pamela and happy 4th of July to you too. I'm Pamela from Colorado. So here we go with the flowers. Gorgeous. Diana Jacobs said she just ordered this and she's from Indiana and she just ordered this whole Wonderful world. I mean, this is going to be super popular. The reason I don't think they'll run out of it is because it's a, I think, I think there's going to be a lot of these. I mean, usually this, the friendly hello, we had a friendly hello one before and hello beautiful or something, or no, could have been friendly hello or hello beautiful, but it was, 
It was something where the paper and the stamp was last time, and we didn't run out, but the paper was super popular. I don't think we ran out at the end, but who knows? But still, if you like it, get it. Get it. Here's a paper I cut out with the scan and cut. So in my cutting pattern paper with the scan and cut, I showed how easy these were to cut out. This is a scan and cut user's dream, you know, with these flowers. I love, I love just having easy embellishments. There's the flirty flamingo. This is the piece. This is it. This is my favorite piece. I always have a favorite piece of paper because it's just so easy to cut out and so gorgeous. The flowers are so gorgeous. And when you do something like this, it makes the whole card. Plus, in this case, so we recently had a 90th birthday for my mom and a party celebration. And so we're making, I made, and I'm still making, loads and loads of thank you cards to give her, or to give out to people who came, who traveled a long distance to get there, because it was also like a family reunion, friendship reunion. I'm, I'm thanking everybody. And we, you know, a 90 year old, right? She doesn't need presents, right? We don't, who needs something when you're 90, right? But she, people gave her flowers and, um, oh, they made, they made balloons and decorated and like jars with like an apron on. Boy, I should show you some of the really cool presents. But like the really nice, like crafty things. Like a lot of, a lot of flowers and homemade things. It was very nice. And I have a lot of people to thank for those presents. And one friend gave her like a, a nice small roasting pan because it's very heavy for her to lift the, a heavy roasting pan. And, and I want to thank people for coming and what they brought to the party and how they contributed in decorating. So I have so many thank yous. Like you just, you can never thank people enough. Oh, anyway, this one here, by the way, is from the Texture Chic. Texture Chic is awesome. And that dye behind it, look at that way they used it with this paper. And you can use, look how you can use the flowers to make your own designer series paper in the background there. Gorgeous. All right, so here's my pile. Enough about why I'm making so many thank yous. But I'm showing you the thank yous now. Now that you know why I'm making so many, and I'm, not, I'm just getting started. But I did that video, and that's why. Because I needed a lot of, I needed a lot of embellishments to make the thank you cards. So I'm using Season of Chic for the thanks, the word thanks. You'll see me using this one and this blob here from the Season of Chic to put behind the word thanks. And you're going to see how I used thank you from the cup of tea stamp set. And I might just also use some woohoo, you're amazing for some of the inside. Who knows? But I'll have to see if the font matches. So here's how you can use the Wonderful World Designer Series paper for a bunch of cards. I'm using Daffodil Delight because it's a coordinating color. And you can just see how you could take the little tiny patterns, put them in the back, and just take your, your flower from that paper and just make a whole card out of it. Little stitch die, and I put these together in like five minutes. But it's not just five minutes because it took me maybe 20 minutes to cut the paper. I'm also using Rich Razzleberry back here to layer, to create another layer of cardstock. But five minutes to put together, but also with the prep time, I would say this is like a 15 minute card. You know, or you know, if you, if you average each card, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, because there's a lot of prep time in the layering for these cards. So I'm just taking different things, like this would be Sahara Sand from my Neutrals pack of cardstock. I love how things coordinate with Stampin' Up. A little piece of in color cardstock behind there, Orchid Oasis, right? And look how that layers behind the flowers. I did some inking around, things like that. And so this thank you is from Cup of Tea, layered flowers. So you may have seen me cut these with the scanning cut, but you did not see all these cards put together because I put together, this is Melon Mambo, a lot more cards since that video. But if you want to know how to cut these out very easily, if you're new to the scanning cut, it sure beats fussy cutting. I mean, you just cut these out with the machine. It's so easy. Layer them up. These are so elegant. And they're also, my mom loves flowers, so it's her style more, right, than my style. So it's, these thank you cards are going to be from both of us. But what I'm going to do is I didn't even put the paper inside yet because kind of, um, she has kind of poor vision. So what happens like if I put the papers inside, she might start writing notes upside down. I'm going to give her like a bunch of the blank, you know, the white, basic white. And I'm going to say here, let's start writing the cards, the notes. And then I'm going to finish the note and then I'm going to attach it in the inside. And then I can attach it right side up. And if we mess up any, I don't have to attach it until I'm done. So these are all the, we'll put the messages inside. I mean, and I can also give these to customers. I'm going to be making so many of these. Yeah. The stamps are great for the envelope. Okay, Kathy's saying, yeah, Kathy, you always, you always send me awesome cards. Kathy and I swap a lot. And um, 
She always does like these beautiful envelopes with like designer series paper and stamp. And I don't even give her an envelope. I think I put mine in a bag. I, don't, I do naked envelopes and I know the CEO of the company would be like, never have a naked envelope. All right, so those were the, but I put my other things, you know what it is, is I put my things in bigger envelopes. I usually don't mail it like, I usually don't mail my stuff like right in this kind of envelope. I mail it like in a, in a bigger sort of manila envelope. Anyway, that's was the thank yous for that one. And now these are the ones from the Season of Chic. And then I use these new decorative masks from the annual catalog to create this background effect with some of the ink colors. Yes, I do add candy to my swaps. So there, there's that. Hi, Tracy. And Diana's saying from Indiana. Yep. Okay, I already said that. Okay, good. And I did Daffodil Delight in the background. And I did the Starry Sky, or it could have been Orchid Oasis in the front, but a darker color in the front. This is a card pattern that I've been using for different things, but I love how when you use a new pattern, it, or the same pattern with different paper, it looks very different. So those are the Wonderful World examples for you from the Celebration brochure. Hope you enjoyed those cards. And now we are going to move on to when you host and how you can get this pomegranate. So a host. We know that maybe a lot as many people are doing hosting in the same way as far as like in, in having in-home parties. But whether you have, a host can be done virtually. So say you want to have a Facebook group and you want to invite some friends and they order stuff, you can earn free things. So that's one way to host, okay? Oh, you can host a virtual party. Another way to host is like one of my customers, I'm, I'm not going to say her name here, but she always sends me a few orders from her and her friends. She doesn't want to join. She doesn't want to join Stampin' Up, but she always gathers orders for her and her friends so that they can get the host stuff themselves. So then bottom line is a host party means when your party, when your order gets up to $300. That's what that means. Whether it's from virtual combining orders, whether it's from your own personal order of $300, whether it's you sending me orders for you and a few of your friends, you will get this perfect pomegranate set. It's really neat. I already, I have one coming. I don't have it to show you, but you're going to get you know, you're going to get this perfect pomegranate stamp set for free when you spend $300 or you host a party and it gets up to $300. I'm also having you use host codes when you shop with me. So what I do, just so you know, because I don't want to, I want to be completely transparent. When I'm the host, when you use my host code, when you shop with me, when you get entered into the drawing. And then I get a bunch of $40 orders, you know, 50, no, usually they're $50 orders, especially during celebration. Maybe you did a $50 order. Okay, you got yourself a free hippo stamp set. So that went to you directly. Your whole order went to you directly. In fact, you ordered online directly and you got this. Well, then you use my host code. And that means you didn't get this because your order wasn't 300, but you used my host code. If I get six orders like that, I'm able to get a perfect pomegranate set. So for the months to come, I'm going to be giving these out as my prizes because I'm, w I'm gathering your orders and I'm getting the host rewards and giving out all those prizes back to you. And I do pay shipping and of course, put little extras in with them. But it is something I like to do for my customers. All right, so that's what hosting is all about. Now, let's see what, there was a comment there. Oh, Maria, she's joining my cup of tea bingo, and she said she loves her bingo kit. Yeah, yeah, you got your bingo kit. Feel free to share a picture in my VIP group of your bingo kit. All right, this is the last thing I'm showing you now, the Making Plants collection. I, did, I, I was going to set it all up, you know, intentions, intentions. I didn't get to set it all up, but I have it set up a little bit. And I want to show you now, when you join Stampin' Up! for $99, not only are you going to get $125 worth of items, anything you want from any catalogs that you can buy, that you pick out, you're only paying $99, you're getting free shipping on your whole starter kit, but during the month, of, during this time, or while supplies last, from July 1st to August 31st, you're also going to get this whole collection of items called the Making what is it called? The Making Plans Collection. You can't get this any other way. You can't buy it. Demonstrators were allowed to buy it before the special started. But other than that, you can't buy it. You can only join and get it. So if you really love this Making Plans Collection, you join Stampin' Up! and that's how you get it. And it comes with a stamp set. Okay. These are just different things you can put on your planner. There's, um, there's lots of uh, demonstrators that use planners that are making videos on this. So I encourage you, I mean, my videos are totally different than other people's videos. If you want to see people 
use this in action. I'm not touching mine because mine is accounted for after I'm all done with this. Um, I'm not actually touching it and making it into a planner, but I do want it to set it up a little more with the pages, but I just didn't put the pages in there. So here are stickers that you can use in the Making Plants collection. And then where do you see the book itself? You get four sheets of stickers, two like this, and then two like this with the flowers and little frames. And then you get, these are all the extra refill pages. Oh, I think I did put them. Actually, I did put them in the book a little bit. Not quite, but I did start setting up my book. You grab the book, and you get these. I'll open those last. Part of the Making Plans. I know I'm shaking my camera sheet. Making Plans Planner. I think I did put some pages in it. Sometimes I did things a while back and forget what I did. Uh, let's see if I can't raise the camera without getting too wobbly. Okay, it doesn't really go up that much more. See if I can get my light better. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So you can see the whole thing. So this is the planner. It's a magnetic closure. Beautiful floral planner. You can put your little, there's little pockets and little pouches there. And then the seven would be the July. So this starts in July. It starts this month. And you have your monthly focus. Yeah, yeah, I did put the pages in it. I put some pages in it. July. I'll do another thing. I'll do another video about all the different things you can get in your starter kit and make a sample starter kit. Okay, so you could put a lot more of those other pages inside here, but there's July and then oops, there's August. Okay, and so you can plan out your time. And whether you want if you're a hobby demo, meaning you're joining just for the discount, it doesn't mean you don't need a planner for your family life. Like I know I'm doing some short trips this summer. I'm trying not to do, it's more like staycation summer but, you know, because of gas and because of just time and just like you're, I'm trying to go little trips close to home, not too far, little trips. And so I want to, you know, you want to plan those things because you have to book different things, make reservations at places, right? That's good to have a planner for your personal life too. And so your hobby demo, you're still going to have uh, professional development events stamping up invite you to. You're still going to have your team meetings because our team does meetings and live presentations and like I'm having a bingo event. All those things could be in your calendar. You know, you don't have to like have parties or, or host events yourself. Just have your, your planner can be full just by doing things for hobby. Okay, so there's your extra pages. Awesome, right? And then these are some, it's, it's going to go another whole year. It doesn't, it doesn't just start in July, but it looks like it goes another whole, let's see. These are nice and thick pages. Here are the, oh, here are the numbers. Here's the months, the months for next year. And then let's see what months. I don't know. I didn't have it organized, but see, because I'm not a planner person. You're probably saying, you sure need to be a planner person because you're so disorganized. You're probably thinking that. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what you're thinking. But actually, I'm giving this away because I have, I have this is already accounted for, but um, not until the end of celebration time. But these are... The notebooks, Stampin' Up! notebooks are pretty cool. I do love these, and I would, I'm would. i going to use this. I love this style. Wait, this is the style I love for card sketches. Is it this one? No, this one is a... You can decorate your notebooks. You get three notebooks as part of the Making Plans collection. Here it is, this one. I love using paper like this for my card sketches because they're all over the place on sticky notes. But then when I keep them in the book, when I did before I kept them in a book, and then I know my measurements and I can find them easier for my 3D items. But this is what the Making Plants collection is about. And that's another. So our celebration is it's called, when, you have, when we have a celebration special, we say shop, host, and join. So we always have a special each time. Shop. Oh, let me move this out of the way so you're not confused. Those are not just celebration because I'm wrapping up now, putting that back. All right. Shop is means that you get free things when you shop. When you spend $50. Um, if you spend $100, there's different items you can get. Or if you spend $100, instead of getting this one set, you can go get two of the $50 items. So you spend $100. You could either get here, uh, the Amazing Phrases stamp set, or you could go get Hippos and Hippo dies. So you can mix and match. You can, you can get them as many times as you want. If you want 10 Hippo dies, I don't know why. Maybe you cut a lot of dies. Have at it. You can get whatever you want. Okay? So that's, um, that's, so that's called shop. And then we have a host special every time. And that's, this is called the host special. So that's the $300 item. It just automatically goes on your cart. And then we have the join special. 
Every time we have a join special, and the join special for this celebration is you get this Making Plans collection when you join. Okay, so that is $99 total, not just for this Making Plans collection, but for the whole $125 worth of items you pick out, a paper pumpkin kit, business supplies, free shipping, all kinds of other stuff. All the things. In fact, I saw one of the things that say all the things. That's an expression I hear. I hear used a lot. Here. All the things. I hear this expression a lot. All the things. This, Because this kit has all the things. All right. I thank you all for watching. I hope you'll shop with me during the celebration time. Stay tuned for many other videos I have coming up on my channel, including the conclusion of my cup of tea workshop series, where I shared what we make with the cup of tea bundle, along with the walkthrough of the July to December mini catalog. That's this catalog here. I'll be walking through it with samples. I'm also going to be talking about starter kit specials and, and things benefits of joining my team. And I'm also going to be doing Christmas in July, where I focus on many of these bundles in here during for our Christmas of July uh, workshop series that I'll be doing on my YouTube channel, along with scan and cut videos and many other fun, crafty things. I appreciate you watching. Happy 4th of July. This is the Paper Chef.